At what point did you start as Mira? We were near hospital. Okay. People were passing by accident. Can I get food? Mm. I came to the hospital. They said I should take something before they give me an injection. Mm. I said, ah, then if I do something, I think yeah. I will be Able successful. To, yeah. So I started with the tea. Okay. Tea and fried eggs with bread. Okay. Like that a is breakfast. The, the okay. Breakfast. Mm. Uh, then after two weeks, mm -hmm. people were asking, can I have soup? Mm -hmm. Is there any way I can have soup? Wow. So I decided to ask soup. They were asking, can I have fried yams? Mm. Then anything they asked, then the next day I add. You started so adding. From day one, mm -hmm. I got two customers. Wow. The next day was six. So it's it kept like growing. It keep growing. So I become very, very happy. Confident. Confident. So that this is it. This is this is it. Then I was able to turn the whole thing to a chopper. A chopper. And okay. um, that was I gave the name. The the, the name was of that started, chopper yeah. was Casport. Casport. Okay. Why yeah, Casport? Yeah. Why Casport? It was my first daughter. She gave me that name. Okay. I remember okay. the day that I took her to school. Yeah. And um, his father yeah. told me. He doesn't want any Christian them. Okay. So okay. he was called Abna Amangwa. Ab when she came back from school, she mm. was crying. I asked, what, what, what is wrong? Why, why are you crying? She said, all my friends, they have Christian name, Jeremy, Sally. <laughs> and I said, okay, what do you want? Mm. What name do you want? Mm. She, she just mentioned Casport. Okay. I said, hey, what is Casport? <laughs> And she spelled it. Wow. At the age of six years. Wow. C A S P O T. Wow. She wrote it and I said, okay, if that is what you want. So, so I decided to use that name for the for, for the, the chopper. Okay. For the chopper. Yeah. And it was moving on well. Wow. It was moving wow. on well. Wow. So I ran down Choba mm. for about 15 years. Wow. And something um came. I decided to stop it okay. and divorce, do okay. everything. Okay. Okay. So, um, so at that point, family issues arose. Family and issues, then yes. You, you, you By stopped. then, uh, um, I had two children. Okay. Yeah. So I two girls. Two girls. Okay. Two so girls. we're we're here in your restaurant, and um, I want you to cook something for me, and I'll ask you more questions as we do that. All right. So we're going to go for a commercial break. We'll be right back. Goober Card welcomes you to the land of gold, Ghana. The Goober Card is a unique loyalty card which gives you the opportunity to enjoy discounts of up to 40% on goods and services. You enjoy discounts of the best of hotels, amazing restaurants, beauty lounges, spas, health centers, fashion houses and shopping centers in Ghana. The Goober Card can also be used as a prepaid Visa card with Access Bank R Partners, offering you conveniences on all payment platforms. Applications is safe, secure and valuable. Call us or WhatsApp us on 0245-156-705. Visit www.goobadiaspora.com. Goober Card, the best discount card in Ghana. Imperial Homes Ghana and Great Britain has carved a niche for itself within the real estate industry as the premier provider of luxury homes in Ghana and England with a mission to provide safe, good value, modern housing and personalized estate management services to its clients and customers. All our homes meet the lifetime home standard as well as the highest standards of engineering excellence, safety, environmental sustainability and cost efficiency. Imperial Homes, a signature of luxury. Ma, what are you cooking for me? Today I'm going to cook a prepensa for you. Yes. Okay, okay. Tell us a little bit about a prepensa. Uh, what is it? A prepensa is traditional local okay. meal. Okay, yeah. okay. And if you are not a king or queen, you cannot eat a prepensa. Mm. Yes. It's queens and kings meal, ah. but they have given us power. The, the, the to, privilege to, to be able to. Yes. yes okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh -huh. what to do prepare we do? a paprasa, uh -huh. you have to get palm nuts. Okay. This is palm nuts. Okay. You get roasted corn. Okay. This is roasted corn. Okay. And this is the corn. Oh. Yeah. 
This is the corn, corn. maize. Okay, corn maize. And this is the roasted The one. roasted, okay. And this is the powder form. Okay. Now, this is how it is. Oh. You roasted it. Uh-huh. Then you... Oh, get the powder. Powdered one. Okay. Yes. Then you add red beans. Okay. I think we all know red beans. Yes. Yes. You cook the red beans, okay. then you put it in the palm soup. Okay. How long do you, how long do you um, boil it for? For about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Okay. This is the cooked one. Okay. The okay. One. Yeah. Okay. And there is a spice here. We call it ateja. Oh. So many people doesn't know about it. Okay. It's very medicinal. We wow. use this to prepare palm nut soup. Any time that I'm doing a papansa, I use it. It will give you very nice flavor. Mm. Yes. I'll need someone I'm going back to. I'll give it to you. No problem. <laughs> then I use herrings to prepare my pepper and sour. Okay. Okay. Tomatoes. Fish. Onion. Okay. And pepper. pepper. Okay. Then salt. This okay. is the salt. Uh -huh. yeah. I've already made my partner soup. Mm -hmm. So all you do is you put a can you hold this one? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You put the roasted corn powder in. Inside. Inside. Okay. The two of us are going to do hey. the upper answer today. Yes. <laughs> you stir it. Okay. And traditionally, is this used as a main meal or is it a, de a dessert or is it, what is it? It's a main meal. Okay. It's very heavy. Okay. Yeah, but people use it for a dessert. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. It's okay for the meantime. Okay. Can I help you? Yeah. All right. What made you set out? I mean, the dishes like this. What made you? What made you set it up so it looks so African, yeah, so Ghanaian? So, it's unique. There's, there's no so many food that our grandmothers used to eat. That is why they. I told you my grandmother is still alive. Yes, she's 115 15 years. years. 15 God. years. Those days they don't eat oils, mm. canned food. Yeah, everything is freshly Maggie, made. Everything is authentic. Yeah. So. Based on what they taught me, I decided to do or prepare this food. Okay. And from the beginning, it wasn't tough because the first time mm. that I started, mm. people just entered and said, wow, so you've been, we have this food, so we have yeah. this food here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that is why it is uh, encouraging me to prepare the African, authentic and indigenous Food. food and then you're very close to your staff yes one of your phrases that you love to use is you're here to be a servant yes. and not a boss yes why why do you say you that see, so many businesses are going down are collapsing mm. i learned something from my auntie she told me there's a word called a leader mm -hmm. If you're a leader, yeah. there's so many times that things that you have to do yeah. for your followers it, to learn. Yes. I am the owner of the restaurant. Yeah. As I told you earlier on, I stopped running the top bar, yeah. cast pot, yeah. Yeah. and because I'm happy, I enjoy cooking. Yeah. My hobby is cooking, okay. serving people, people, arranging so many things. Mm, mm. So I decided to open another restaurant <laughs> and I cho I did not choose the same name. The same name because I was doing the first one with my ex husband. Yes. So I chose Asmera. And Asmera Asmera is Ethiopian language. Oh. And the meaning is harvest. Oh, I choose the name because of the meaning. Okay. You didn't go to school? No. You never stepped your foot into school. No. But your children? Yes. One is a medical doctor. Yes. And two, the other two, two are medical yes, doctors. The and the other two. one is still young. Yes. She's still at school. Yes, yes. How were you able to encourage your children to also go to school? Since you didn't come from that I background. Combined, I tried to combine the two. Okay. The home okay. education okay. and the school okay. education. Okay. And I'm very happy and glad that they listen to me yeah. all the time. Yeah. They are moving on. Yeah. Because I'm moving on, yeah, yeah. they are learning my footsteps. So the Did first help one, with the I've asked the first one uh -huh. to help me here okay. for us to push the truth. Okay. So she's okay. with me now. Okay. Based on the education and everything, I'm not saying education is not good. It's very important. Everybody should make sure you go to school yeah. and learn something. But you have to blend the two. Yeah the home training mm. and the school training. Mm. If you blend the two or you join the two, you'll be successful all the time. Yeah. 
Yes. You've, you, and touching on the word successful, you have been successful. You've won numerous amount of awards. Yes. Which award means a lot to you? All of them. Okay. All is of there, them. Is anyone that, you know, you felt, wow, was it your first one? Do you remember your first Yeah, one? best African restaurant okay. in Ghana. Wow. And you've been doing at Morocco now for the last eight years. Yes. Eight years and you've managed to grab the market. Yes. Be authentic. Yes. Even to your chairs, to the, the, the I mean, the cutlery you use and everything. Even your staff wear African print. Why? Never think you've employed people, you are paying them. Yeah. So you just sit down somewhere crossing your legs, give me instructions. My friend, it will <laughs> collapse. <laughs> it will collapse. You see, my workers, mm -hmm. they love me yeah. and I love them. Yes. There's something that I don't entertain, which they know. Yeah. I'm very disciplined. Yeah. If it's good, I'll give it to you. Yeah. If it's not good, I will let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them, a first time, first three months, yeah. you don't understand. But later on, they say, oh, mommy, no, thank I you know. very much. So please, what I want to tell everybody, all the entrepreneurs, yeah. is yeah. make sure you be a leader okay. in your business. Mm -hmm. I'm a cleaner. Yeah. I cook, I go to market, wow. I do everything. You still do you that till date? You will see me clearing the tables because there's something that I've learned. Some of them, if they come and they do not see me, they don't feel okay. Mm. They ask, where is madam? Yeah. They, yes, yes, I'm happy. Yes, yeah. madam, please, I want you to save me. I send them. Yeah. It will not take anything from, from me. You. It will never take anything from me. So the reason why I'm moving on or people are trooping in here all the time. It's because I set myself as example to my workers. It's a team. Teamwork. It's a teamwork. And not an individual work. Even yes. though you're the boss, you're the CEO, you still put yourself yes. down to the I level. am the first person to come here to open the doors, to start cleaning. I should be the last person Listen to, to make sure we off everything, we close everything, 24-7. I don't have all the, I don't run shift, but because I'm loving what I'm doing. And believe me, if you don't love what you're doing, please don't start it. You have to love it. I'm putting all myself into my business. I love what I'm doing. I can never stay away without Azimera. And I'm about to open another branches. I wish wow. we team together to wow. open another oh, one. Oh, we will. We sure. will. We will, of I'll course. I'll be very happy. Because I think it's important that we start celebrating and exposing ourselves yeah. as Ghanaians yes. to the delicious food. But this is tourism. I mean, you've won. You're actually an ambassador for Ghana tourism. Yes, yes. Now, I haven't been to school. This is secret. I don't want anybody to hear. <laughs> I don't want anybody to know. I haven't been to school. Mm -hmm. But now, I am a tourism ambassador. ambassador. Can you imagine? It's because of what? It's because of the efforts. Effort that you put It's because in. of the effort. And the, the passion. Hard, the passion and the hard, hard work. work. I have about 40 workers. But yes, so, I'm a leader. A leader. That if you come to the cleaning, mm -hmm. I'm the head. Yes. Kitchen, I'm the yes. head. I do everything for them to let. And I have become a teacher, which I haven't been to school before. Yeah. Yeah. I'm teaching them. But I don't. Employee cooks at me. Why? Really? Why? Yes. Because they will come and teach me what they know. No what or you they want. will come in and ask me to allow them to do something what they want to do. Which I know what I'm doing. And I'm trying to implement what yes. my grandmother taught me. I'm doing something that I know. I don't want to add anything which I don't know. Because those people will come and do their menus. Yeah. If something happens and yes. there are no more here, yeah. there's true. no way you can do it. It's true. So I rather want to teach them what, what I know. You, what you know. Yes. What I know. Okay, so back to the food. Yeah. What happens next? The next one uh -huh. is now. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. It's ready now. Okay. So we are going to garnish it. Uh huh. I garnish it with crabs. Okay. And crabs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this, can you hold this? Uh huh. I have to taste it. Wow. Mm. I want you to taste mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You see, so many people rely on cake uh -huh. 
flour, yep. margarine, mm -hmm. sugar, mm -hmm. milk, mm. for an occasion. Yeah. But me, I always go in for upper prasa. Wow. It's wow. very, very delicious. Wow. And looking at the ingredients, mm -hmm. it's very, very, very authentic. Yeah. Wow. This is the finished one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are the red beans. The red beans. So I use good. the okay. red beans to garnish it. Okay. And this is the crab. The crab. And this is the apple press. Wow. So you take it like this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I've never tasted it before in my life. Sure. Mm -hmm. See, today is your first mm -hmm. time. But I will not give it to you. I'm going to eat it myself. How? <laughs> How? That's not possible. <laughs> This is nice. Yes. Mmm. It's really good. Very good. Mmm. I need to enjoy my food. So I'm going to actually wrap up now. But one thing I'll say is that I'm encouraged yeah. by you. Yeah. The fact that you didn't go to school. No. But you had a vision. Yeah. And you set up your business. Yes. And it's now successful. Yes. So those of you that are out there, that are thinking, oh, I didn't go to school, I'm selling things on the street, you can still make it. She said, every, God has given somebody, everybody, something, but you need to find out what it is and then go for it. So that's it for me. See you next week.